you want to learn to do your makeup like this, Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be my quick, easy, natural makeup routine. And it takes around 10 to 15-ish minutes. As you can probably tell, I do not have a trace of makeup on this face. I don't want to be posting this. I look so bad right now. This natural look is going to include eyeliner, mascara, eye glitter, concealer, blush, highlighter, bronzer, and just like all that kind of stuff. I don't want to talk too much. So before we get into this video, please like this video and comment. Comment down below how long it takes you to do your makeup because honestly, it just really depends on what I'm going for. Sometimes it takes me an hour, sometimes it takes me like two minutes, you know what I'm saying? And also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, it would really mean a lot to me. And yeah, no more talking, let's get into the video. So I feel like in the makeup world, it's kind of controversial like what to do first with your makeup. Don't come at me, but I don't use primer. I usually just put on some sunscreen first. I didn't put any on today because I'm not really like going outside, but on days when I'm going outside, I'll put sunscreen on and then I start. So anyway, the first First step that I do is eyeliner because it takes me so long to get like the perfect wing if you know what I'm saying. If I'm like rushing out the door I'd rather have my eyeliner done first than like anything else. So for eyeliner I use the Sephora brand the brush tip liquid liner. This is what it looks like if you're interested in buying it. I film on my phone and it does not focus. I'm so sorry but it basically just says Sephora brush tip liquid eyeliner and it is also waterproof. <laughs> It says to shake well and then apply. I have my mirror right here. I'm gonna try, try try to get the perfect wing. Sometimes I put my hair like back in a ponytail, but seeing as I don't want to look like a prepubescent boy for the rest of this video, I'm deciding to just put my hair behind my ears. And I know I already look bad enough with this, but it's better than anything else. I'm just gonna start usually by putting like a little dot like right here. I put a tiny little dot where I want the wing to end. And so then I'm going to like kind of draw the wing on. So it's not the best wing, but like it pretty much does the job. As you can see, it's just like a tiny little wing. I know some people my age do eyeliner like really thick, but I really don't think it looks good on me for like every day. So if I'm just doing like everyday eyeliner, which is kind of like this makeup look, just an everyday look, I'm just gonna do a really tiny wing. And now I'm going to do my eyelid, like the lash line with eyeliner. So my first eye is done and now the hard part comes in where I have to do the other eye and replicate this wing exactly on this side So I'm just gonna try my best. I'm gonna try to be like <laughs> symmetrical So I'm gonna start by putting a little dot where I want the wing to end just like I did on this side There is the dot now. It's time to draw the wing on so it's clearly not the exact same as this one But it looks like pretty similar So I'm just gonna leave it because I don't feel like taking all of this off because this took long enough so I know I said I wasn't gonna redo any of my eyes, but I just realized that I did my left eye much better than I did my right eye, which I always do. I apologize for my perfectionist tendencies. So I'm going to cap my eyeliner and now the next step is concealer. So the concealer that I've been using for the longest time, I've had it forever. It is called the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless. It is a 24 hour wear concealer and I wish that my phone focused, but it's not, but like this is what it looks like. Anyway. I don't do that much concealer. Mainly the part that I do concealer on is under my eyes because I don't know if you can tell, I have really bad under eye bags. It doesn't even have to do with like how much I sleep. It's just like genetic, my whole family has them. <laughs> <laughs> I just usually put like kind of a triangle underneath my eye just like this Like I'll do one stroke going right across like that And then I'll kind of do a stroke that's going down like that And if you can see I just drew a line to connect and it like kind of looks like a triangle You know what I'm saying? And so now I'm gonna do that on the other side Now I bet you're expecting for me to reach for one of my beauty blenders However I discovered a few months ago through someone's makeup routine I can't really remember whose it was And I realized that blending with your fingers is literally the smartest thing ever Your fingers like it just makes it look more natural Like the concealer isn't even there but like it is you know what I'm saying Especially because your fingers are like warm It makes it just blend so flawlessly I'll show you I can't really talk because like I have to do this when I'm doing my makeup So as you can see I'm now done blending my concealer and honestly, in my opinion, it looks so much better compared to when I had my under eye bags like a minute ago. It looks a little yellow right now, but we're going to fix that with powder. So for powder, I have had this powder for like the longest time. It is probably so unhealthy for me to keep using this powder. Like for my skin, it's probably it's so unhealthy. It is called the Studio MAC Fix. I have worn it down like so much. It is so old. I just use like one of these, again, really old brushes. It's just like a blending brush. And I'm just going to get a little bit of powder on the brush and then blend it so like the concealer doesn't come off. And so like the powder sets the concealer. And now I'm gonna do it on the other side. 
And even if I don't put concealer like on other places, powder really helps in like drying out any oily parts of your skin. So usually my nose is oily, so I'm gonna put a little on my nose. Usually my forehead is a little oily. And then when I'm done with powder, I'm going to obviously put it away. And now it is time for one of my favorite parts, which is bronzer, because I have a very weird and like round face and I want to make it look more defined. This is actually not mine. I do not have my own bronzer. I steal this from my mom. It is bronzer by Dior. The palette looks like this. So it's like kind of a blur and it like really defines like the bones where you want to define. So I use an angled contour brush. It looks like this. It's really cool. There's still product on it. I usually just put a little bit of product on the brush and then kind of make like fish lips and put it in that little indent. You'll see what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see a difference between this cheek and this cheek, but like in my opinion, this cheek looks a little more defined. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to do the other side. And now my cheeks just look super defined. So then I usually also do for bronzer just like the tops of my forehead to kind of like make my face look more angular. I don't know if you can like see a difference, but here was like the before picture before the bronzer. And now here is me after. And I just feel like my face looks a little more defined, more like sun-kissed. And now it is time for highlighter. I use a really good highlighter. It is by Glossier. I love Glossier's products so much. So I use the Glossier Halo Scope highlighter. It just looks like this. And for this, I usually just brush it on my cheekbone just like that. Obviously, I have to blend it. And I'm going to brush it on my other cheekbone just like that. I'm going to blend it now. And then when I'm done blending my cheekbones, I usually just put a little bit on the tip of my nose just because I want that like really sun-kissed highlighted look. Now it is time for one of my favorite, favorite parts of makeup, which is blush. So the blush that I use is honestly, you will not be able to find it anywhere because it's so old, but like it was my mom's and she gave it to me. I use actually two different kinds of blushes. The one that you won't really know about is the one I use the most, but if you're looking for one that you'll like actually know about, then I would use the Benefit Dandelion blush. It's just like a really light pink color. I don't use it that often because like I want more of a dramatic look. So for my dramatic look, I use this blush that literally all my friends make fun of me for because because of the name and the picture. It's basically called Hot Mama Blush. It's like the bomb brand. I don't know like what it is. My mom gave it to me. She's had it forever. The mirror is literally cracked. It just has like a really pretty like reddish pink rose colored glittery color, which I absolutely love. I admit that I used to think blush should only go on your cheeks. <laughs> False. Blush should go everywhere from here to here. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to start on my cheeks, but then I'm going to kind of work my way up and blend it into the other parts of my face. And this honestly looks so much more natural. Like it looks like I'm actually blushing. Like literally, do you see how much my skin is glowing right now? So after blush, we're like done with the face part of the makeup. And now we're on to the more eyebrow eye part of the makeup, even though we already did eyeliner. So I don't really do anything to my eyebrows except brush them out because my mom like won't let me pluck them. And I honestly don't even want to pluck them. And I also don't have a brow gel because my eyebrows look really weird when I try to make them like more pronounced and darker. So don't make fun of me. I have a little stuff of what used to be an eyebrow brush and now it's like broken but I just use this to kind of just brush them out on days when they're like really not behaving themselves I don't curl my eyelashes because this is the worst eyelash curler in the world I am still looking for a good one do not judge me when I find some better makeup products I promise I'm gonna do an updated version of this so I switch back and forth Oh my god. I switch back and forth between mascaras. If I'm going for a more subtle natural look and I like haven't done my eyeliner, I use the Maybelline Great Lash New York Mascara. The bottle looks like this. But if I'm doing eyeliner and I like want it to match, I'll do this MAC black one because this one's dark brown and it won't really like match the eyeliner look I'm going for. So for mascara, I honestly don't want to make it like too long because I feel like I look really, really weird when I do that. So I just do like a light coat. I'm honestly more into making my eyelashes look thick than long because it just makes my my eyes look better. So as you can see, there is a clear difference between this eye and this eye. I just got it on my hand and my hair. Oh my god, no. Sorry. So now it is time for me to do the other eye. So now the other eye is done. And so now something I do that like I don't feel like a lot of people do after mascara is I use an eyelash brush to kind of get the clumps out and make it look more straight. There's a brush part of it and then there's like a comb part of it. So I like to use the comb part of it. It just makes it look so, so, so much better and like neater and cleaner. 
So I know I'm gonna get judged for this, but I do not do any eyeshadow because it makes me look like I've been punched in the eye. I just do some eye glitter. I have a ton of eyeshadow like right in here, as you can see, right in this part. I don't use a lot of it though, like unless I'm going out and I'm like gonna try to make my eyes look more smoky, but it never really works. I have literally no idea where I got this palette from, but if you just can find like a white glitter eyeshadow, it's just gonna make your eyes pop and like make you look more awake and alive. So as you can see, like it's not really apparent, but if you look really close, there's just like a little shimmer, a little bit of glitter, and I just really like doing very simple eyeshadow. <laughs> Nowadays, I don't really do this, of course, because of masks, but on days when I'm feeling like a little extra, even though no one's going to see it, I put a little lip gloss on. So my go-to lip gloss is just this really light red Sephora brand lip gloss. It's called Colorful Gloss Bomb. This is shade 13, hot pants. Sorry. My phone does not focus. I just put a really thin layer of this on. It smells so good. It smells like raspberries. <laughs> As you can see, there's a huge difference in my lips now. It doesn't really look like too unnatural. It just looks like they're very shiny. I really love putting lip gloss on. And so yeah, here's the before lip gloss. And now here's the after lip gloss. video thank you so much for watching it i really hope that this helped you when i was learning how to do makeup i watched so 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 many of these videos and i like followed along with them so if you're following along right now comment down below how you ended up doing your makeup i just really hope that this helped anyone who's trying to learn how to do makeup like myself even still before you leave please like this video and comment down below if you made it to the end of this video i love makeup i love doing makeup so comment down below if you relate to that and also before you leave please subscribe to my youtube channel for more teen lifestyle videos like these it would really mean it would really mean a lot to me and anyway yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching it and i love you guys bye